Hi, Caleb with Brandos here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Forward Controls CSF Sling. So CSF, uh, that stands for Carbine Sling, and then F, like all other forward control design products with an F at the end, the F just stands for forward controls. Uh, so this one is no different in the naming. Now, let's take a look at you know why I actually like this sling here. So full disclosure, I haven't been using it very long, but it's in that short amount of time I've been using it is, is uh, I don't want to say it's the best sling I've ever used because it it doesn't do anything other slings don't. And I think that's kind of the genius behind it. It's just a simple, intuitive to use sling that is extremely durable. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's uh, we could end the video right here. I could be like, listen, it's, it. it's easy to use, it's intuitive, get your sling on. And then we could go to the, if we had credits, that's where we'd go to the credits, but we don't have credits. So uh, I'll just keep talking about the sling then. All right, at the front of it here, and I'll just want to point out, I'm using my own swivels. The uh, sling, like most slings, it doesn't actually come with the uh, QD swivels. I put these on there. Now, you have one of the uh, plastic keepers here up front. And as you come back, you have the slide assembly, which we'll get to in just a moment. Um, then underneath it, you have the forward controls logo there. And then moving on back, you have another plastic keeper here that the actual slide assembly goes through. And then everything is obviously where it's stitched, it is stitched really well. Uh, a lot of reinforcement there. I'm not like a, a seamstress, if you will, so I don't know like all the technical terms for the different whatevers, but uh, this, this looks good. And you know, I'm, I don't know a lot about it, but this looks good, all right? You know how even you just like pick something up and you're like, man, I don't, I'm not in that world, but that looks good. This is that. All right, maybe someone is gonna, someone's definitely gonna correct me in the comments. And this area back here, so you have this loop here, which is actually where you kind of adjust it for your body. You get a, this is where you actually do your length adjustment. And I have it almost all the way tight now because I'm, like seven years old. And then we come over here, you have a QD buckle, which is actually a really cool feature. A lot of slings that claim to be like a more simple setup don't actually have this. So you have that here. This is only on the back end, not on the front end. And then some of that like more super high speed stitching I can get into again and just talk about awkwardly. And then of course you have same thing as the front, you have this plastic keeper up here. I'm saying plastic keeper, I, again, I don't know the technical term for these things, but uh, that's what we're gonna call them here because we can. And then again, my own QD on the opposite side of the buttstock. Then the front, we got a video on why I do that. It's a good video, you should go watch it. Maybe I'll remember to link it below, maybe I won't, go find it. All right, so let's talk about this slide assembly I promised we would talk about. So it has, this tab on the top here, this is literally just for you to grab onto. Um, and there are some out there that use different methods. They use like uh, a big, like almost like knob or whatever, or they, there's, there's a lot of different weird things people are doing out there when they're making slings. I say weird things. Those slings are actually great. I've used most of them. Uh, but I like this one because it's just a, it's a piece of nylon that comes off. It's easy to grab, easy to use, easy to find. And uh, I'll just throw it on here. Whenever you grab, I mean, you can find it without looking at it. And I think that's the big f takeaway here is that I can just kind of reach down, know where it is, loosen my sling if I need to. And it's really easy to adjust, as you can see. Whenever you want to adjust it, it moves really, really easy. Whenever you don't want it to move, it it doesn't go anywhere. Now, I mentioned before that there were plastic keepers on here, and I know someone's gonna ask, why not use the metal ones? 
the metal ones would be way more durable. And you're absolutely right, They're, they would be way more durable. The reason companies use plastic on slings like this is because if I'm in a situation where I'm hung up in something and it's life or death and I, I've got to get out of it, like if I'm like hung up on a vehicle or for you more high speed guys out there, helicopter, you know, whatever, and I can't get to this or I don't have time to get to this or I don't have time to play with the QD button, I can literally just put my body weight into it and jerk whatever I need to get out of. Uh, don't get, we, I said jerk, calm down. And uh, it'll break those keepers and potentially save my life. So that's why companies like that or like this use plastic on slings of such fashion. There's a method to the madness. And uh, it comes in a multitude of colors. This is the multicam black. I got multicam black because it just looks good on my against my gray receiver, I think. I'm like looking at it and not showing you guys. I should probably, like now you can see what I'm looking at. It just, I know what you're thinking. You're like, man, that, that looks good. And you don't need to tell me, I already know. But if you want to tell me, there's a comment section for that if you're watching this on the YouTubes. Uh, so I think I've said enough about this sling. So with that being said, I'm gonna go into the clothes. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.